this used to ha occur more often than it does today, but th where there will be a school within the school that mm -hmm. says, okay, this will be for kids who would opt for this. You have a lot more control over. We still got to. We still go hold the classes that the state requires us to hold. We've still got to assess you at the end of the term, but you have a lot more freedom mm -hmm. on how to do it. Yep. Yep. And those when when those occur, there was one at a school in Cambridge, Massachusetts. There's one that started up in a school in Boulder, Colorado, mm -hmm. shortly after my book Free to Learn was published. The principal mm -hmm. read the book and mm -hmm. he said, "I'm going to try to." create a school within my high school that follows these principles yeah and and he invited me out there and I and I met with the kids and the teachers involved in this kind of alternative school within the school and so I sat in on a civics course and instead of just reading a textbook about civics they were they were involved in self-determined projects self-directed mm -hmm. projects mm -hmm. they were interviewing the mayor they were they were figuring out how city council works they were writing papers about it just, you know, all planned by themselves and they were mm -hmm. clearly quite interested in what they were doing and they all you know when i talked to them they all said you know this is so much i'm learning so much more than i did in other school mm -hmm. now as far as i can tell as soon as that that principal unfortunately was closing close reaching retirement age as soon mm -hmm. as that principal retired that was over <laughs> yeah yeah that didn't occur anymore and i know i can tell other stories about things like that it takes a very motivated person and part of the reason that the closes is that it's in the context of another school mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it violates the principles of the uh, regular school and either because of jealousy or because of feelings like, oh, these are the kids who can't hack it in the regular school. <laughs> right, right. You know, that's why they're in there. These are for the dummies or the whatever. Absolutely not true, but that's right, the right. attitude that people develop. And even some of the teachers, even when I was there, and they said, you know, one of the problems is the other teachers think that I'm just lazy because I'm not quote, <laughs> teaching. Right, right. You know? yeah, <laughs> so. Yeah. This is so it's really hard mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to do these things in the context of regular school. And it's really why <clears throat> I believe that social change, I believe that social change will occur, but it won't occur within regular public schools mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In, in any meaningful. It, it will change and is already beginning to change by virtue of people leaving them. Mm -hmm, we right, are the right. one th way that we are lucky in this country is that in compared to other countries, we are more free not to send our kids to the public school right. than in many right. other, if you can financially afford it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's more and more ways of growing gradually to afford it, and more and more people are doing it. So homeschooling is really on the rise here, whereas oh, yeah, in many yeah. countries it's not even legal. Yeah, yeah. And, and although I cannot say that alternative schools like Sudbury Valley are very much on the rise, there's still a pittance, a very small number compared to the number of homeschoolers right, right but as there's more and more homeschoolers there's more and more learning centers for homeschoolers there's more and more organized opportunities for homeschoolers there are there are uh, learning centers that are in some senses modeled after schools like Sudbury Valley mm -hmm. um, with the and so I think that this is happening already I think mm -hmm. that it's happening for a number of reasons uh, and I, I think this is going to be a growing thing and that at some point, at some point, there will be so many people who have left the public school system right, that right. the public school system will either have to change mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. become irrelevant, right, right? just dwindle away. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.